Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's me, Chris, and I'm here with another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle. We decided to switch out Mamoswine for Tumble. Um, I guess this is a good idea. As we see, our opponent earlier is not playing around. He's got Toxtricity. He's got Tyranitar. He's got Gengar, which I'm going to have to get rid of before I can really, like, start using those Toxic Spikes. Oh, man. Okay, so now this is a pretty tough battle. Um, all right. Well, I'm going to lead out with Flapple. As I have been. And then uh, hopefully we can pivot into uh, a really good desired matchup from there. Hmm. Well, Toxtricity too. We got to get rid of Toxtricity. Wow, we get rid of our only ground type. Electric Immunity. And now we see a Toxtricity. Okay. This might be one of those battles that uh, I get tossed in. Which, uh, you know, that's fine. As he leads out with the Toxtricity. That looks like the special attacking form. Regardless, I should be faster. And, um... How much does an Outrage do to you, actually? Does an Outrage KO you? I'm not going to risk it. I'm just going to U-turn. That wasn't very effective, but it it did a good amount of damage. Um Yeah, we'll go in a tumble from here. Maybe Drapion could have handled whatever you're gonna give it. Eh, sludge bomb, okay. Oof. Sludge Bomb did uh, good damage there. Really good damage. Um, but I think Hydro Pump does really good damage on anything that wants to come in except for that Rillaboom. So let's go ahead and see if you want to take a Hydro Pump to the face. Oh, man. That was so good. Throw Chop. This Throw Chop does really nothing to you. Or to me, rather. Um, you gonna stay in? Let's not. Let's hit another hydro pump, please. Yeah, yeah. The washing machine getting work done. Hydro pumping and toxicity's gone. So that's one out of the two Pokemon that we needed gone. That feels good. I'm surprised to be faster than toxicity though. It is actually shocking. Also, wishing I had PP maxed this uh rotom now as uh, we only have three more hydro pumps <laughs> i also wish i had more gatorade ah here comes mr rhyme mr rhyme i'm not so sure about i'm gonna volt switch <coughs> That does good amount of damage too. These are these are just just chunking, dude. It's just chunking. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go to Nina. I think that's like a safer safer switch. As we see a freeze dry, cool, 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 cool. I honestly did want to go into Ned, but I was worried about the freeze dry. And I think here we're just we're just free to knock off. I don't think Mr. Rhyme's gonna stay in on this. So we'll be able to knock off an item on a pivoting Pokemon. Yes, yes, gimme. Give gimme, give gimme. Give yeah, yo, yo. Tyranitar, we'll take your item away for sure, dude. What did we take off? Wait, what? Okay, how bad do we need Nina? We're probably going to see an Earthquake here. Uh, actually, if we see an Earthquake, we have a Switch and a Sorn. <coughs> I was actually thinking about just sacking for a layer of Toxic Spikes. But this is like, if this is Jolly, like max speed, we could be in trouble. So we'll just take the Earthquake. We also had an Earthquake Switch in, uh, in a Rotom. 
But uh, I kind of want to either Leech Seed this Pokemon or Leech Seed the next Pokemon that comes in. Granted, we hit our seeds, which we have been doing so far this gen. Uh, he could predict a Leech Seed, though, and go into Rillaboom, which would be unfortunate because we wasted a move. And let's see if that's what you uh, did see. Now, you, you see Mr. Rhyme as your switch, which is cool, actually. We'll take some incremental damage on there. I don't want to... I don't want to stay in on Mr. Rhyme with Soren. Like, at all. At all, at all. I don't think he's going to stay in. Um... I think Tumble's our best switch into whatever he has. He could go... He probably won't go into Rillaboom for a while. As, uh... Okay, he goes for a Psychic. A lot better than a Freeze Dry. Alright, we know we're faster than Mr. Rhyme. So, let's just Volt Switch. Oh, we're getting a lot of it... A lot of health back. That leech seed is clutch. Um, as let's just volt switch. Volt switches are free. It's gonna chunk Mr. Rhyme. Uh, as we're gonna see an incoming freeze right here. So we can just go back into Nina. I just don't know when we'll see that Gengar. The Gengar is kind of a problem. Yeah. Went back for that. Went back into that freeze dry. Black Sludge. And we're going to get the Leech Seed. And the Leech Seed will pick up that KO on Mr. Rhyme. Good job, Sorn. Good job. All right. So that's two threats that we've taken care of. Uh, what do you go into here? Goes into Charizard. Hmm. Hmm. I'm pretty sure I could live a Charizard hit, but there's no need to. We're just going to go into Ned. We still have our switch. Let's use it. Ned hasn't taken any damage. As, uh, yeah, we're going to see a Dynamax here. So this is, um, that's a good way for our opponent to kind of, like, get out of the hole that it's gotten itself into. As we see a G-Max Charizard. Let's hope you didn't protect the switch and we don't see the G-Max grass move. Uh, instead, we're going to see a Max Quake. So you could know Earth Power, I guess. I guess this could be physical attacking Charizard. Uh, your special defense is going to rise. And um, what do we do here? Uh, we're just going to click Hydro Pump. Like, there's nothing else to do. <laughs> nothing else. Oh, what? You G-Max, then you withdraw? Yo, dog. I don't know. I wish I had Stealth Rocks, man. Wow, 100% wish I had Stealth Rocks. As in comes the Rillaboom on the Hydro Pump. Holy crap. Holy crap, but that still does a chunk of damage. We're still all about that. Um, dude, this thing does do a lot of damage. I think this is where we go into Nina. Again. Man, I really... Hmm. really wish I had Toxic Spikes up. Earthquake. Oh, baby. That was definitely not our uh, Earthquake switch in. Uh, I think we sacked Nina off here. Oh, we are faster than the Rillaboom, so not Scarfed. Poison Jab does do a good amount of damage. 
as uh, Earthquake again. Mm. Okay, we'll go on the Flapple. Uh, we're just gonna U-turn. And we'll pivot into something else. It's like... That's like my favorite thing to do in this game, lol. <laughs> is just U-turn. U-turn, Vault Switch, pivot. Let's just keep the momentum up, man. Uh, our opponent is going to get the matchup desirable. Um... Let's try to get some more regeneration on our our Rotom here. I kind of want to run a Resto Chesto set. I used to run a Resto Chesto set on my Rotom, and that was a lot of fun to get people caught. <laughs> They'd be like, oh, Rotom's almost dead. Hold on, let me use Rest. As uh, we do see Charizard, which is actually interesting. So, we're not going to be faster. Earthquake? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Punish that. Let's go. It happens. Even I do that. Even I still do that. So, that's rough. Charizard is going to go down to a Hydro Pump and tumble. Tumble, man. You're three for three. On those Hydro Pumps, you want to be MVP, I see. And here comes the Gengar. Gengar's kind of trouble. Um, I don't think I want to risk missing a Hydro Pump because I'm going to T-Bolt. <coughs> we see a Hypnosis. That is rude. Okay. Well, it sucks. It sucks. Sludge wave. Um. So Tyranitar. Tumble was a check for Tyranitar. We still have Mew who has Earth Power. So I think we're okay. I just hope Mew can Oko the Gengar. Gengar's kind of crazy. I'm not trying to max lightning. Just trying to regular T-Bolt. Here comes another sledge wave. Okay. Alright, Tumble. You couldn't wake up. Can't believe that hypnosis hit. Um... Man... I'm going to go into Flapple. And, uh... I'm going to fly. See if you hit that Hypnosis. Yep, yep, yep. Went for that Hypnosis. Okay, uh... I hope Fly can do enough damage. Oh, f oh! It's cursed body. Sludge wave. Bye, Flapple. <laughs> okay, uh, that's fine. Time for you to be the cleanup. We should be faster. Earth power? Golly. Ooh. Always scared of that destiny bond. Always scared. And now we got the T-Tar. Sandstream is going to kick up. See, now we do kind of wish we had like those toxic spikes. Just because I don't know how much an earth power from a Mew. Which is, this is, does 90. Yeah, Earth Power 
Oh, it's a Tuco. Oh, he's got Crunch. At least Tyranitar doesn't have any really good recovery. As this Earth Power will be enough, and we do get a victory. Whew! The battle got kind of close, I think. I don't know. I don't know. I was kind of scared. I got kind of scared. I always get scared. Like, in the beginning, I'm so confident. Then towards the end, I'm like, uh-oh. I think I made a game, like, losing mistake. Anyways, thanks for watching this battle. We just got a few more to go until December's over. 2020 is almost here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. I'll see you guys tomorrow for another battle. Bye-bye.